Here's something new in Inertia 2. Have you ever found yourself in the situation of wanting to pull your application for the latest possible data to avoid situations where your users have to manually refresh the page every five seconds or so? Well, now we can do that pretty easily. I'll show you. So here I have a fresh Breeze application where we fetch all projects from the database, including the comment count, and we pass it to a dashboard view component. And this is very simple. We receive it, and if we scroll down, we loop over the projects and display the title and the comment count for each. And that gives us this. Okay, but now imagine we want to poll our application to display the latest comment count without, again, requiring a manual page refresh. Very simple now. Let's scroll to the top. We will use poll, and we can fetch that here. And let's provide a frequency or an interval. How about every two seconds, we will poll this specific page for the latest possible data. So now have a note. At the very top, this one has zero comments. Let's update it. I will open up the terminal. How about 100 comments for the first project? Now, check this out. If I switch back, sure enough, it's showing the latest change here, even though I didn't manually refresh the page. Let's do it a couple more times. Let's do another 100 and another 100, and now it says 300. It's working. So yeah, it's literally making a request to this page to fetch the latest changes. Now, a couple things you should be aware of, though. Because it's making that request, well, if I switch back, if you're not thoughtful, think about it all of the queries associated with this route will automatically rerun, even the ones that aren't relevant at all to what you're trying to pull for. Something like this. Let's say you also have uh, users, all right? And maybe some other things as well in real life. Well, even though I only care about this data, when I perform my polling, we're also running this query that we don't do anything with. All right, so that's running for every user on our site every two seconds, not ideal. Here's what we should do. Let's wrap these within function calls. I wanna be explicit about running these queries. Next, if I return to my dashboard component, the second argument to use poll is effectively what you would pass to router.reload. So let's say, no, the only thing I care about is projects. All right, now, if I come back and give this a refresh, have a look at this. If I pull up my network tab in DevTools, Let's have a look at the response. And sure enough, we always get the errors in our projects, but nothing else. It omits everything that is not specified here. So that's why we have to be very thoughtful about how we structure the data that we pass to our view component. Tell me what you think. 